Momoa. I really only decided to do this panel so I could hug Aquaman at the end of it. That's pretty much. Like, I'm done. Bye, guys. I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm leaving. No, um, so you're obviously taking this Aquaman gig very seriously. You're killing it, by the way. It's amazing. And so seriously, in fact, that I think that I saw you just dive off a cliff to announce the trailer. Did, the, did that happen? Yeah, it was a silly idea I had. It was like, I'm going to Hawaii, why don't we try to release something to the fans and I'll be with my family. And uh, I used to jump off that cliff when I was a kid, so I was like, swim down to the turtles and show everyone that... You were born to be Aquaman? There you go. Yeah. <laughs> um, how are you, I mean, you know, we, we've already seen Aquaman uh, in Justice League, but like now, you, this is your movie. How, how pumped are you that we're finally here and this is happening? It's... Um, I, it's the giggle effect. I'm, I'm just, uh, it's, you know, been five, six years in the making, you know. Oh my god. it's finally here and I'm on stage and yeah. my, my babies are, they gotta see it, they gotta see the trailer, what you're gonna see, and it's just, I'm, I'm, Yeah, it's uh, awesome. My heart's big and open and I'm so proud of it and my cast is amazing and the director, it's just, it's, it's a beautiful origin story that I'm, I love it. Yeah. I'm really, really, really happy. I feel like this is... It's kind of like when I'm... Sorry. No, you. It's kind of like when I'm quiet. Mm -hmm. I'm really happy. <laughs> so I'm like, ah! But I'm like, I'm so proud of it. And I'm, I love it. I love it too! This is the essence of what Comic-Con is about. It's not just about the fandom. It's about bringing the work that we do to you guys. We get as pumped about it as you. And obviously Jason's super pumped about it. And I'm super pumped to bring out the rest of Team Aquaman, everybody. Please welcome to the stage, Amber Heard! Um, welcome everybody, welcome to Hall H. James, James has dope hair, per your usual. It's so good to see you. I did a movie with James years and years ago and I'm super excited to be up here with you now. So happy. Um, how stoked are you to be back in Hall H uh, now that you're able to finally show us some big juicy chunks from this movie. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm super anxious, but really excited at the same time. Yeah. So uh, I, I know the fans have been, you know, chomping at the bit for a while now, and I, uh, uh, I'm, you know, I just want to say I'm very grateful for your patience, but you know, you're finally going to get to see something. <laughs> cool. What can you tell us? Uh, you know, we're going to see some stuff from the film today, but what can you tell us about the experience of? of concepting this world and, and, and your vision for, for the Aquaman film? Yeah, um, well, you know, one of the biggest things I wanted to do was kind of create a superhero film that we've never kind of quite seen before. And, uh, and so kind of going into it, um, you know, I, I, I feel like there's a lot of superhero stuff out there, and so I, wanna, I want our film to be a little bit different, a little bit, you know, a bit more unique, so to speak, right? And, uh, and so my movie, in some ways, play more like a like a science fiction fantasy film than your traditional superhero movie. Uh, and I guess when you see the trailer, you, uh, you, you get that idea. Awesome. Um, with every, to everybody, to the cast, and we'll start, um, we'll start with Jason, uh, without spoiling anything, what can you tell us about making this film? Because this is a film that's primarily set underwater, and I know a lot of that probably you guys did as green screen, but there was some water work. I mean, what, what were some of the specific challenges of working on a movie that's set in an underwater world? Who wants to start? I love how everyone looks to me. Uh, I, I've, I've said it before, I've got this rash right here from James. <laughs> I think we all kind of share the same story. Wait, I feel like you need to elaborate. Uh, basically yes. because... Okay. Clarify. There's more information. Or, clarify what he's we're, saying. We're, uh, we're in a harnesses a lot, and so it's, you know... That's right. Uh, we don't do too much That's with yes. water. <laughs> Yaya spin up, you know, we drown Yaya. <laughs> you drowned Yaya? You oh, actually yeah. drowned yeah. Yaya? I, well, actually, one of the challenges one of the challenges that I thought I was going to face was having to, uh, having to swim, actually. Wait a minute, so you, you weren't a swimmer before the movie? Well, look, so... <laughs> what, what I could explain, I could explain. So, I get the audition, you know, I send in the tape, and then I'm, uh, 
I get the call from my agent. She says, hey, you know, they want to see you for the movie. So I'm on my way down to Los Angeles, and I tell my agent, I said, hey, um, this is great and everything, but I can't swim. <laughs> I just did Baywatch, and I'm doing all these water movies. I'm like, hey, uh, and I don't want to be that, that dude, right? I'm like, I, I can't swim. You know? uh, and so, but, we, we send it to swimming training school. Right, right. Really? So I, I actually secretly learned and taught myself how to swim during the mornings and during the evenings. The first thing I did when I landed was I bought a pair of goggles, a kickboard, and nice. went down to the hotel pool, and I'm like, I gotta get ready, gotta get ready, gotta get ready, gotta get ready. You know, there's probably, you know, months of footage of me getting incrementally better and better and better. Yeah. Right, and they just CG, they just see, made you, by CG, like made you a better swimmer, they made your flutter kicks more beautiful. Well, I was fine by the end, I was, I was fine. And no, and I didn't swim, and I did never have to swim. Swim in the movie? <laughs> But now, I feel like every actor has said, like, oh, yeah, I can ride a horse. Then they get the job. Ah! Every actor has done that. Yeah. Well, I was so lucky because I got to lie on a rock. My opening um, shot in the film is being washed up on this um, rock. Um, and I got to lie there with massive waves crashing over me. And um, I'm thinking, the bigger, the better. Come on, James, give it to me. That's why I'm doing this movie. That's amazing. <laughs> Big waves. And Nicole was the, the trooper because literally we were pummeling her with massive water tank. Huge water tank and huge rainstorm just pummeling down on her. And uh, <laughs> when, when you get hit by those drops, it, it's been like pelted by with rocks. Yeah. So it's pretty painful. Yeah. I love that you were just like, bring it on. This is your first Comic Con, Nicole. This is. Yeah. Well, thank you, being so warm and welcoming and I'm thrilled to be able to say this is one of my firsts. I've done so many things in my career, but this is my first Comic Con. So. Awesome. Um, did anybody else have any water related uh, injuries or <laughs> moments of reconsidering all your life choices up until this point? Yeah, I, I, I had a few of those. <laughs> I mean, I, um, my joke, I, I, everybody teases me about, um, you know, I'm, I'm my friend's joke, I'm wet in all my movies, and I'm cold, and I hate getting cold and wet. <laughs> and so I thought for this point, how ironic, I also don't really like to swim at all. I don't really, <laughs> beach is fine, the ocean, no interest. So of course I get cast in Aquaman. <laughs> And, 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 you know, actually I didn't have to swim much in this. We were, you know, attached to harnesses <laughs> for most of it. But I had to be wet. So I, I would come to work first thing in the morning, already cold, get on a freezing cold soundstage, and they had built a box, like a little cat box. And it's just a box on the floor with a grate on it. And I would just stand there. <laughs> holding my book away from the splash and I'd be hosed down. <laughs> every morning, every morning, I would say, every troll. I would say, grown ass woman, here at work, getting hosed down. <laughs> here I am at work. <laughs> that was one of the things where either you're, uh, you're, in a, you're in armor or you're half naked in tattoos. And it was a bad choice looking back to wear denim <laughs> so those, you know, like, they look like leather pants, they're not, they're wet 20 ounce denim, and it's hard to move, and James was like, when I got dropped in, and this one scene that you're going to see, I get dropped down from the ceiling in the submarine, and you're like, get lower, like this cool stance, I'm like, James, I'm like bottoming out right here, <laughs> this is wet denim, bro, I'm like, bam, I, he's like, do it cooler, I'm like, bro, I, that's, what do you, I, I did tell you to take your pants off. Uh, a lot of your fans were really happy about that. Hey, we have to have a sequel somehow. Well, we've been waiting a long time, and I understand.